Good day folks, it's Tony Fortunato from The Technology Firm. Today I'm gonna to go through some packet capture baselining. I get this question a lot, and, and the question is always, what's a better tool to use so you don't drop a packet? Dump cap, T-Shark, the Wireshark GUI, and now, of course, Microsoft's PacketMon that I've been using a little bit more. And that question keeps coming. So I thought, you know what? I'm in the office, let me just quickly go through this and see what we get. So the main part of this exercise is to identify how I did things, the methodology. And for dump cap and T-Shark, I use these capture options. So dash I for the interface number, as you can see, dash S is gonna be your snap LAN or your packet slicing, if you will. I chose 128 for a very simple reason. Microsoft's default is 128. And a lot of times when you read on the internet about performance, uh, improving performance with your packet analyzer, people say if you can slice a, slice a packet, it will perform better than if you have to record the whole, capture the whole packet. So there you go. Dash W is just a file name, and then dash N is no name resolution when it applies, so you're not gonna go try to resolve the name. So that's what I did for dump cap and T-Shark, and then Wireshark, of course, has got the GUI interface, but I did change the packet length in it as well. In the lab, basically, I got my packet generator. It's a NetScout OptiView XG and it's connected via a piece of copper to the laptop, which is an Alienware. No switch, no hub, no nothing. Just a direct piece of wire, okay? I use various packet sizes and various loads. If you pay attention here, I stopped at 50%. I didn't want to do 90 or 100 or 80 or even 75, because that's not practical. In a real environment, if I had one gig or 10 gig connection and it was over 50% load, I would use a specific purpose tool for that, and I would not use my laptop anyway, so I didn't see the point. So here's the results. At a 10% load, 64 byte packet, Microsoft's pack, packet monitor, 100,000 packets, all of them, all of them all the way down the board. Now, when you take a look at Dump Cap, T-Shark, and Wireshark GUI, you can see it did not get 100%, all right? I'm gonna consider all three of these about the same. This is my usual methodology of five tests, drop the low, drop the high, average three. And obviously this took a while to put together. As you can see, there's a lot of numbers in there. Uh, but Microsoft consistently got 100% of the packets, which I think has a lot to do with the fact that obviously PacketMon is not using NPCAP or WinPCAP, depending on what you're using, and it's more native to Microsoft, so that kind of makes sense to me. Now, when you go to 30%, again, 64-byte packet, we sent 100,000 of them, now Microsoft starts to choke a bit. See that? 39,000. Uh, dump cap, see they're all about the same, and, and this is the weird part. The Wireshark GUI interface fared the best. I have no idea why, these are just the numbers I got. 128 byte packet, you can see I'm still dropping them, about the same across the board. 256 byte packet, now Microsoft has 100% of them, but yet the other three don't. So the, the rationale between all these, I'm gonna say the correlation between these numbers is quite simple. The larger the packet, the fewer you get per second, right? That's why you make them bigger. The smaller the packet, the more on the wire, so more packets per second. So that's why as they go bigger, you should eventually get to 100% sent and received, okay? Let's go up to 50%, and you can see uh, 100,000 sent. Again, all of them across the board suffered. 128 byte packet, they all suffered, same with 256 and then 512 bytes, then they all worked well, I'm gonna say 100%, except for the GUI. Isn't that interesting? So this goes back to what I always, um, I'm gonna say preach, know your tools. You have to know your tool. Now your laptop is probably gonna be different than this. It might not, who knows, it might be the same. But you have to test your tools. So when you're in a certain environment, you know that if I had a 50% load and the average packet size was 256 bytes, then guess what? I can't use my laptop. I'm going to drop packets, right? Uh, and conversely with 512, you would be fine with everything except the Wireshark GUI interface. So I hope that helped, folks. Have a good day. Bye for now.